hey guys welcome back to the channel uh this will be the last part of the auto wire cnc foam cutter and i'm happy to tell you guys that the machine works pretty well so make sure to watch the video to the end and please don't forget to like and subscribe all right so i uh, just printed this outsend for the electronics box it's just uh, basically something simple to hold the cnc shield and uh, this controller for the auto wire this will allow me to set um, varying voltage or uh, if I want to increase the amps, I can also do that on this. And also I added a small fan that I could find lying around to cool the stepper drivers down. So I'm going to put everything together now. So uh, everything is all together. As you can see from the board, I had enough ventilation so as to cool the uh, stepper motor drivers and also this uh, controller box also has a cooling fan so it cools down its own uh, system too as well so there is enough room for ventilation all across the housing all right so everything is powered on now as you can see the uh, controller box is powered on but I, I, it's not yet turned on to output volts so once it is bought in see it's going to start outputting volts and I can also increase uh, the volt or increase the current if I want so I'm just going to turn it off and also the fan at the back too is working it's not the best fan out there but it's working Alright, so my favorite part, my favorite part here is this inch cut. See, saves me a lot of stress in cutting inch. Isn't this nice? Just have a little bit of reinforcement tape here, and we are good to go. Spar holes, little cuts. I think I made this a little bit too small. <laughs> but let's make it bigger. Came out pretty nice. Oops. Mm. 
So it turns out that the my foam wasn't long enough to do this proper and uh, the end properly. So that's why there's a bit of uh, uh, deformity here. And also, this is not the actual length, so there's an offset of about 10 mm to trim off the edges. So you can see this is a pretty good cut for me. How will you? Uh, this was a mistake. It should have been a lot lower. It's okay. I managed to use an external power supply for the hot wire to increase the amount of foot that I can put and also I reduce the feed rate for this cotton so that it goes as slow as possible. This foam is much much denser than the previous foam that I've used so this needs to cut a lot more slower for it to be as smooth and clean as this. Alright, good morning everyone. So, this is a rundown of the foams that I've been cutting with the CNC, excuse me, with the CNC machine. I just want to give a little bit of explanation to the progress I've made so far. So, as you can see, these are the first couple of wings that I've cut with this um, type of foam. Uh, this foam is a lot less denser than this foam as you can see here. So, apparently when I was cutting this, the temperature was fine, the temperature was okay. Sorry about that. And also the feed rate was also good enough to cut uh, this particular foam density. As you can see, the passes are quite clean. So when I try to cut the same, uh, which I, of course, I increase the voltage a little bit so as to compensate for the density of this foam. But however, it wasn't enough. So um, the spring, I mean, the hot wire end up dragging across the foam, which made this uh, cutouts to be very, very unclean. So, and also, uh, this didn't turn out very well. And also, I tried to increase the volt also and um, uh, reduce the feed rate. It was a little bit impressive, but the voltage still wasn't enough. There was still a couple of um, hot wire drag. And then finally, I had to um, use an external power supply with a much more voltage output to the hot wire to cut this final piece, which I'm pretty impressed with. So I will try to um, recut this three uh, foam today, just to see what voltage and what uh, feed rate is the best to cut this uh, foam density.
here's a bit rundown of what i have here so this box is what i 3d printed and it includes a cnc shield which is composed of the ramps 1.4 board and the arduino mega 2560 and what i have here is the auto wire controller um, amplifier it allows me to set uh, various uh, voltage for the auto wire so uh, i was trying to siphon the same power from this uh, 12 volt 20 watt power supply to power both the um, board and also this amplifier but however uh, when i tried to cut this other highly dense foam there was not enough um, power supply to the hot wire so i had to switch to my lipo charger and i'm using it as an output so i currently set it to 19 volts and i can adjust the voltage that i want but i found a good cut between 16.5 uh, to 70.5 voltage to cut this highly dense foam but however the 12 volt power supply was more than enough to cut this other less dense foam that i have here it's not as dense as this one so it requires little um volt and also i was able to cut it at the feed rate of uh, 300 um, millimeter per per minute per minute of per second uh, but i was able to cut it a lot faster than i could cut uh, this one so all in all everything seems to be working fine and i also have a small cream pan here to like you know to cool down the stepper driver so uh that's everything on the rundown if you have any questions put it in the comment section below thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video